Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. The Mario movie was a huge success, surprising literally nobody. Having one of Nintendo's biggest IP, the mascot character, in his own movie, yeah, that's definitely a recipe for a success. And thankfully, it's not just good because it's Mario, it's good because it's just a solid movie. Yeah, it's got some flaws here and there, but overall, it's just a solid kids movie. But with that said, Nintendo has kind of hinted at the possibility of having more Nintendo movies. They even opened up a film division. They are taking movies very seriously. And after the Mario movie, I can't really blame them. We could possibly be seeing movies like Metroid or Star Fox coming in the future. The possibilities are kind of endless. But before we get into the Zelda rumor, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. I do gaming content of all sorts. I do reviews, reactions, and news from time to time. So if you like this stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more content like this. But without further ado, let's get into the big Zelda movie rumor. So I had this video all recorded and everything. And then the CEO of Illumination threw a wrench into all that. Chris Melodandry recently commented on the whole Zelda movie rumor. And the way he words this comment doesn't necessarily debunk the rumor at all. Let's dive into what he actually says. Quote, I don't know where that came from. I mean, I can understand how people would surmise all sorts of things because obviously we've had a great experience working together. My relationship with Nintendo now includes being on their board of directors. So I understand how people can surmise these things. But in terms of the specifics, that was just something that I've been hearing lots of reports on. This is just about what's next between Nintendo and Illumination. Now the original person who started this rumor, Jeff Snyder, he is standing firm in what he said. In a recent tweet, he is 100% confident in the source that he got this information from. That information being Illumination and Nintendo getting together again for a Zelda movie. And they were possibly closing on a deal. Now, again, all these are rumors and speculations, but it's interesting how Chris responded to all of these because he didn't really deny any of it. He kind of just said, yeah, I don't know where these rumors came from. And that's about it. I mean, he talks about his relationship with Nintendo and how he's on the board of directors. So yeah, like he talks about people way of coming to this conclusion about this deal coming about or these supposed deals happening but he doesn't deny any of it which i find interesting and so does part of the internet but whether it's a rumor or not the possibility of illumination and nintendo working together again to make a zelda movie is very possible and i don't know if i would like this outcome don't get me wrong, I think Illumination is a talented company. I just don't like most of their movies. I think what they did with the Mario movie was great. I think the characters looked amazing. And while I wish they didn't have so many licensed track, and I wish the movie was longer, giving the characters more growth throughout, I thought it was a really solid kids movie. And a great Mario movie at that. While it works for Mario, I just don't see it translating very well to Zelda. Now I know animation companies don't have to stick to what they know and they can you know branch out into other art styles. I get that. But Illumination seems to be not willing to do that. <laughs> Even in the Mario movie you know there's some Illumination looking characters in there and that's not a bad thing. I just don't think that would work in a Zelda movie. I think the Zelda movie would have to have a very distinct art style compared to Mario. I think if you go the normal illumination looking route, I think that would just be very off-putting, especially for the Zelda fans. Now if they went the Wind Waker route, I can kinda see that working, but it they really have to make it look like Wind Waker. They can't illuminationize that as well. And I know I'm giving illumination a lot of crap. But it's just so hard for me to see them making a Zelda movie look like a Zelda movie. But if they are going to be working on the new Zelda movie, which again, this is a rumor. This isn't, you know, there's nothing confirming this at all. 
But if Illumination is the one working on a Zelda movie, I would be willing to give them a chance. I mean, they did so well with the Mario movie, there's no reason for me to doubt them with the Zelda movie. Except if they add licensed music, so help me. <laughs> I, I don't know what I would do. I, that would be like the worst thing <laughs> they could do in a Zelda movie. In the Mario movie, I, I can let it slide, even though I think they added a little bit too much licensed tracks. But a Zelda movie? Forget about it. No licensed mu music. If I hear any kind of music like that, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. Uh, it would just be too much. It would be so much. I, I could not get behind that. But we can go on and on about this. Let me know your thoughts down below about this Illumination cross Zelda, possibly? Who knows? We know that there's going to be a Zelda movie eventually. I don't think it's going to be the next Nintendo movie, but I think it's going to be sooner rather than later. And if Illumination's going to be that company, then we'll just have to see what they come up with. And hopefully it looks good. And hopefully that the art style is somewhat faithful to the Zelda series. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. God bless.